My name is Rebecca Canney and I'm a clinical nurse specialist in plastics and reconstructive surgery and I specialised in breast reconstruction. My role involves giving patients information, helping them with decision making, whether that's at the point of immediate reconstruction, delayed reconstruction or for BRCA patients. I also offer preoperative chats either face to face or telephone, um, ensuring patients are ready for their surgery. I review all patients while they're in patients and I then follow them up with either an email or a phone call depending on their proximity to the hospital and I also organise a show and tell evening um, at a large London teaching hospital. Preoperatively, um, my consultations um, will depend on what type of reconstruction the patient is going to have. Um, this is always decided with the patient and their consultant. If they're having a Dieppe reconstruction, which is an abdominal based reconstruction, the patient will need a CT angiogram to check the suitability of the abdominal vessels in their abdomen. You will then either have a face to face or telephone consultation with the CNS in advance of your surgery information regarding specific garments, abdominal binders or cycling shorts will be given at this appointment and also you'll be given advice on what to bring into hospital. You do not need to bring a lot. Smoking is not permitted for breast reconstruction as the risks of complications in the form of failure and wound breakdown are much higher. There's also a risk of fat necrosis to your reconstructed breasts and this in turn may delay any adjuvant treatment that you require part of your oncological pathway. We recommend that you stop smoking a minimum of three months prior to surgery. However, this is not always possible with immediate reconstruction. So we recommend that you stop as soon as you get your diagnosis or at least be honest with your plastic surgeon and CNS. We do carry out nicotine tests to determine whether or not a patient has stopped smoking. We also recommend patients stop taking any homeopathic or herbal medication, cannabis oil or arnica, for a minimum of two weeks prior to breast reconstruction. We are unsure whether or not this interacts with the abdominal bowel vessels, so for this reason we would prefer you to omit these drugs. Prior to your surgery, you will also have a consultation in our pre-assessment department where you will be examined with regards to any past medical history, have an MRSA screen, have bloods taken and an ECG which is a special tracing of your heart if you are over 50 and if you've had previous chemotherapy. You will also be given details on fasting by the pre-assessment nurse and this will be telling you what time that you refrain from food and drink the morning of surgery. If at all you need to be seen by an anaesthetist prior to surgery, this information will be given to you at this appointment. You'll also be given the time and date to attend the morning of your surgery, which is usually 7am. be in a hospital gown for the first two to three days due to drains and urinary catheters and you'll be getting regular checks by the nurses so a lot of patients don't need to bring in pajamas or night dresses they are sometimes more of a hindrance than a help we advise you to wear something loose into hospital and um, either tracksuit bottoms or a loose top nothing with a button at the waist as you'll have a scar around your belly button and your abdomen we also advise patients to bring in toiletries as they'll get a shower prior to discharge. So shampoo, shower gel um, are recommended to bring in. You need to bring in some loose slippers or flip flops. And you also will need to bring in a sports bra, abdominal binder or cycling shorts depending on your reconstruction. We recommend patients bring in a long lead for, to charge your phone or tablet as there's quite a distance from the plug sockets at each of the bed spaces on the wards. Also we recommend patients either have podcasts or audiobooks to listen to as your concentration levels will be quite low after the surgery.
The majority of ladies will have more questions after their initial consultations and also following discussion with family and friends. So it is important to write these all down and then discuss them either with your plastic surgeon or clinical nurse specialist. Some ladies may require or benefit with having some psychological support either prior to or following surgery. Again, please discuss this with your clinical nurse specialist and she can either refer you to the relevant service or signpost you to it. It is important also to know that there are many London teaching hospitals who run patient evenings for ladies undergoing breast reconstruction and these various evenings can be found um, through Google searches online um, and you can just contact the relevant hospital and ask to be part of their evening. There's usually an email address assigned to it and then you can attend the evening and bring a female friend. Mm -hmm.